Well, first of all, it is a Big Bang model. In other words, there is a Big Bang. But the Big Bang was not the beginning. There's a lot we know about the universe, from star systems to dark matter and dark energy. Decades of research and observations have helped us understand how the universe formed and grew. However, a recent shocking discovery by the James Webb Telescope has left scientists scratching their heads. This discovery shatters the current standard model of our universe's evolution and even breaks one of the fundamental laws of physics. What is this discovery, and why is it so dire? What does this mean for our cosmic model and the scientific community? Join us in this video as this James Webb Telescope image just shattered our cosmology into pieces. Understanding the universe's evolution has always been of primal importance to mankind. The desire to learn how the vast world around us came to be spurred the birth of disciplines like astronomy and cosmology. Thanks to these fields of study, we've learned much about the vast world of space and its many cosmic wonders. For instance, we've learned that the universe isn't evenly spread out. Some areas are more dense than others. This is one thing that makes scientists believe in the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory is the well-known, universally approved theory of how life began in the universe. The theory states that the universe started as a single point explosion before expanding and cooling to grow into what it is today. Several things, including the cosmic microwave background CMB, seem to support this theory. This is the remnant of the first light emitted after the universe's birth. Think of the CMB as the afterglow from the Big Bang. It has existed for over 13.8 billion years since the conception of the universe. It carries with it information from the early universe. Theories that define the universe's evolution have evolved dramatically over the years. This is because newer discoveries are made as more sophisticated instruments are introduced into the research process. These discoveries prompt the need to adjust the existing theories or create new ones altogether. However, it becomes mind-boggling when sudden, unexplainable events take place in the universe. In the twinkle of an eye, such events make the scientific community wonder if there's a magical force at play in the universe or if we had it all wrong from the start. The James Webb Telescope discovered one such event. As you well know, James Webb has been the revolutionary telescope of 21st century cosmology. The phenomenal instrument has not only given us clear images of the space beyond our planet, but has also allowed us to peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before. James Webb was created to observe the universe like never before. It was intended to observe the farthest part of the cosmos, to seek out stars and galaxies formed moments after the Big Bang. Studying such stars would help further understand how stars and planets have evolved and give insights on how to improve or expand on the Big Bang theory. By studying the universe with sophisticated scientific instruments, scientists were able to discover and introduce other concepts like dark matter, dark energy, expansion of the universe, and so on. All of these are concepts and phenomena that support the Big Bang Theory. For instance, the theory of universal expansion depicts that the universe is constantly expanding. This means that galaxies and galaxy clusters are constantly drifting farther and farther away from each other. It's believed that this has been the case ever since the birth of the universe 13 billion years ago. As the universe expands, more and more stars and galaxies are born. Scientists believe that the mysterious force behind this expansion is dark energy. They also think there is invisible matter in the universe called dark matter. Over the years, several methods have been introduced to measure or detect dark matter in the universe, but no true methods have emerged. The JWST, however, gives scientists an edge. Via its NIRCAM images, Astronomers can use the images to calculate how much dark matter is present in a specific part of the cosmos. Gravitational lensing also helps in this process. Gravitational lensing is a phenomenon that describes how massive objects in the cosmos warp the space around them, resulting in the bending of light as it passes by them. Galaxies and galaxy clusters are known to cause extreme warping of spacetime, causing light from a distant source to bend. By observing the effects of gravitational lensing in JWST images, scientists are able to map the distribution of dark matter in the universe. And so, you can see how much of a pivotal asset the JWST has been to humanity. Without it, we would have never been able to bring life to many of the foundational theories of the cosmos. 
Moreover, we'd never have the beautiful images of distant stars and galaxies like we do today. Yet, in as much as it has been very helpful to the scientific community, James Webb isn't relenting in its efforts. Recently, James Webb has made a couple of impressive discoveries. One such discovery is the planet-like objects captured in the Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is a popular nebula in the Milky Way. It is depicted as the sword in the Orion constellation. Prior studies of this cosmic cloud of dust and gas never revealed any objects hidden in its chambers, but that was until the JWST came along. This is just one of the many recent interesting discoveries the JWST has unleashed. Now, there's another discovery that isn't only interesting but very disturbing. This recent discovery, as depicted in JWST images, can shatter our entire background of cosmology. In fact, scientists are beginning to think the Big Bang theory might be wrong. But what did James Webb really discover? And why is this discovery shaking our entire foundation of cosmology and astronomy? Well, recently James Webb revealed that over 771 trillion solar systems have suddenly vanished from our universe. This means that over 771 trillion stars and their associated planets have disappeared. This is not normal. In fact, this has never been witnessed before. Moreover, this event goes against one of the very fundamental laws of physics the law of conservation of matter. This law states that mass can neither be created nor destroyed, but can be transformed from one form to another. Given that the study of the universe so far is based on laws such as this, scientists find it hard to explain how an entire world of stars and planets disappeared from the universe. Were they destroyed? Or did they just shrink out of sight? Some experts have come up with a plausible theory. One such theory postulates that the disappearance of these solar systems is actually a final stage in the transformation of their mass. In other words, these stars and planets still exist in the cosmos, just in another form we can't see. This theory follows the events of stars when stars get old and can no longer hold the gases in, they explode, a term we call supernovas. As the star explodes, all of its mass is scattered into the universe in the form of tiny particles. What if something similar happened to these solar systems that suddenly disappeared? While it may be possible, most of the scientific community do not agree. You see, stars do not just disappear without at least a supernova, and there's no way massive supernovas involving trillions of stars would have gone unnoticed. Such a colossal event would have echoed through the entire universe, and even our Milky Way galaxy would suffer the ripple effects. And so, this first theory is being pushed aside. However, another theory has brought a different light to the situation. This theory suggests that black holes may be responsible for the sudden disappearance of these stars. Black holes are strange, high-gravity regions in space that suck up matter, light, or anything that dares to get close. Black holes have sometimes been spotted swallowing entire stars, eating them alive. But then, in this scenario, the theory of black holes being responsible doesn't seem very logical. As we mentioned, we're talking about trillions of stars here. Can one black hole swallow a trillion stars? Not likely. Unless there were millions of black holes, there's no sense in saying black holes were behind this mysterious event. The mystery of this event has forced a team of scientists to turn their attention to the history books. One scientist, Beatrice V. Roll, from the Northern Institute for Theoretical Physics in Sweden, has spearheaded a unique project that hopes to solve this mystery. This project, called VASCO, involves scanning the astronomical archives to find a star that has existed in the night sky since the dawn of cosmology but suddenly disappeared sometime in history. In other words, she and her team hope to find a star that ended up exactly like the 771 trillion star systems. If such a star is found, scientists could decipher why it vanished and use that to explain why this is happening now. However, so far, no such star has been found. Be that as it may, the VASCO project has still sparked phenomenal interest from astronomers, experts, and researchers in various fields. Some of these experts believe that there might have been a star that disappeared from the skies above, but due to the vastness of the universe, such a star may have gone unnoticed, and so maybe the very star that would have been used as a case study for this project was never even cataloged in the first place. However, V. Roll and this team of experts aren't giving up on the VASCO project just yet there's a chance that a star had vanished from our skies unnoticed. Moreover, 
One astronomer named Leo Aravi suggested that certain stars may possess the ability to die without going through the usual process of supernovas. These stars can simply undergo a direct transition from their dying phase to become black holes. Leo mentioned a scenario in 2009 when a star that had been identified to be at the end of its life cycle suddenly exploded and transformed into a black hole. The entire event happened so fast that scientists couldn't even grab details of the process. Could such a scenario be repeating itself here? Well, considering that the JWST didn't spot any black holes in place of these star systems, it seems unlikely. Data from the JWST revealed that stars just vanished into thin air. So there appears to be another mystery here besides black holes. Some experts in the scientific community have suggested that it may all be due to a flaw or malfunction with the JWST. Maybe the JWST has been unable to detect the light coming from these stars the way it did before. Essentially, everything you see in James Webb Space Telescope images is all thanks to its light. Stars, galaxies, and every other cosmic entity emit light that travels through the vast regions of the universe. The thing is, only the light that actually gets to us determines what is visible and what isn't. In other words, if an object is billions of miles away but its light doesn't reach us, we can't see that object. This is where James Webb thrives. The JWST is equipped with infrared cameras, so it can see even the farthest objects in the universe. Usually, the light from these faraway objects is redshifted, meaning such lights are turned to infrared lights. As such, only an infrared telescope like James Webb can capture such objects. But what happens when there's an issue with the JWST cameras? Surely, it won't be able to detect such stars. But just so you know, NASA hasn't detected any errors with the JWST. So, if the issue of these stars disappearing is due to light, it's probably not the fault of the JWST but of the stars themselves. Perhaps the lights from these stars are no longer visible to the JWST because they've dimmed or they've shifted to another part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Some theories are famous for making sense of the mysterious disappearance of stars, but none of them single-handedly seems competent enough to explain this mystery. This is why some persons in the scientific community have turned to a somewhat weird and controversial theory, the theory of extraterrestrial activity. What if aliens are responsible for the sudden disappearance of these star systems? The subject of aliens and extraterrestrial beings has been a significant debate for several decades. While some folks argue that these beings exist, others see them as a myth. Things like UFOs and UAPs have majorly been the evidence most people use to back their belief in the existence of aliens. Recently, Nations like the U.S. have brought several convincing revelations that tend to back up the existence of aliens. Events like the U.S. Congress hearing of July 2023 and the Mexican Congress hearing of September 2023 have brought new life to the belief that aliens are real. U.S. Congress witnesses shared several mind-boggling revelations about UFOs and government involvement in alien technology reengineering. Plus, the alien specimens presented during the Mexican Congress hearing bear a striking resemblance to some of the aliens and extraterrestrial beings depicted in 21st century sci-fi movies. But still, the lack of actual footage of live aliens on Earth or anywhere in the universe is why many still do not believe these beings exist. And even if they did, how could such aliens cause an entire star to disappear? Well, it's possible that these cosmic beings have the sophisticated technology to use such stars for their own purposes. One way they could do so is by using them to create Dyson spheres. A Dyson sphere is a hypothetical device that an advanced alien civilization could create for the purpose of powering their lives and technology. Think of it like a circular structure constructed around a star to harness its energy. Such a structure transforms the star into an energy generator or battery for the alien race. Although Dyson spheres are believed to be achievable by science, the existence of aliens is still much uncertain. Moreover, there would have to be at least a billion civilizations out there to be able to harness 771 trillion stars at once. So once again, this theory doesn't seem fit to explain what made these stars disappear or where they vanished to. Scientists are left scratching their head over this recent event as nothing seems to explain it rightly. But that's not all. Amidst the confusion, the JWST has discovered an unsettling phenomenon in the distant void of the universe. This discovery is also ripping apart our foundational understanding of the universe. 
in the spiral galaxy NGC 5584, about 75 million light years away, pulsating stars were found surrounding it, stars that shouldn't exist. This discovery implies that the universe is expanding faster than our cosmological models depict and thereby conflicts with the well-known Hubble constant. The Hubble constant is a constant of proportionality that relates the velocity of galaxies and their distances. In other words, it is the constant that tells the rate of expansion of the universe. A Hubble constant of 50 would mean that the universe is expanding at the rate of 50 kilometers per second. The Hubble constant is named after an astronomer, Edwin Hubble, who was the first to prove that the relationship between the distance and velocity of galaxies was approximately linear. By using the world's largest telescope, Hubble observed the universe's expansion and introduced the Hubble constant. However, although Hubble was the first to introduce this constant, the actual value of the constant has been a thing of controversy in the scientific community. Scientists have been using various methods to estimate the Hubble constant. One such method is by observing certain pinpoints in space and the distance away from us. For instance, scientists can choose a faraway star in the Andromeda galaxy as a reference point. Then, observing the distance between Earth and the star over the course of a year will reveal the universe's rate of expansion per year. Another way scientists have been measuring the Hubble constant value is via the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB. You see, the CMB isn't just a background of fading light, it also has a temperature. However, this temperature decreases as the universe expands. Scientists have discovered that the temperature of the CMB decreases by about 2 Kelvin over a 10-year period. Since the cooling of the CMB is directly related to universal expansion, by measuring the cooling rate of the CMB, scientists can infer the value of the Hubble constant. But here's the thing. These two methods have never yielded the same results for the Hubble constant. Scientists have named this dissimilarity the Hubble tension. Scientists do not know why these two methods do not agree. But in any case, the scientific community may have just landed another issue with the JWST standard model.